Another whale washed up at the shore, this time in Brigantine. The seventh whale found in the last 40 days. News 12 in Jersey's Kimberly Kravitz is with us live tonight. Kim, you got to speak with Clean Ocean Action about this. Yes, I did, Marcy and Kirk. Good evening to you. It's certainly a strange trend indeed. What we have to come, come to find out, excuse me, this cold, um, is that they're not older whales. They're young infant whales who should ordinarily have a much greater lifespan. And I spoke with Cindy earlier today, and she said to me that this is bad news on top of more bad news, and she called for an, an investigation immediately. That investigation would include gathering the ship's logs from all the different ships that are out there, all the different activity that we're doing out there, where were they doing it, when was it, when were they doing, how many simultaneous activities were going on, how much racket was out there for the whales, whales to have to deal with. This investigation comes as the seventh dead whale washed up just miles from where another was down in Atlantic City last weekend, which was just blocks away from where another humpback whale was found in December. This is the list of whale deaths that started in December of 22. Five washed up here in New Jersey and two in New York. One gentleman I met with tonight says this has been happening for some time. Well, we can't predict the future, but we can look at what's happened and you know, sort of prepare for it. The thing that hasn't changed is the abuse that's been going on for so many years and decades now. It certainly has the residents at the shore talking. I just hope that people become more mindful and, you know, want to make an effort to uh, prevent such extinction. To have that many mammals die in such a short period of time, uh, you know, the hope is that, you know, marine biologists, you know, get out there and try and figure out what might be causing all these sudden deaths of the whales. It's difficult to answer the question because it becomes political. Governor Murphy spoke publicly this week calling the spate of fatalities tragic. Many environmental groups opposed to offshore wind asked President Biden to step in to a federal investigation into the depth. There is construction proposed for wind turbines right here on our Jersey Shore beaches. They start like right here off of Long Branch, and that wind farm is not just one wind farm, it's two wind farms. So it's a very large project. It starts here and then goes further down. Clean Ocean Action, since it started in 1984, has one mission, and that is to clean up and protect and defend the ocean. Earlier this week, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said that no humpback whale has been found to have been killed due to offshore wind activities. And at this point, the Marine Mammal Stranding Center will pay a visit to Brigantine at their next low tide to take measurements and samples of that whale. For now, we're live at the Jersey Shore in Long Branch. Kimberly Kravitz, News 12, New Jersey.